Squash XL Pro is an elite team that work hard to train, play and run squash events on our journey to climb the world rankings. Like, subscribe, comment, pick up some of our merch on Teespring. So underway in this match between Zach Miller and Al from Singapore. And, uh, should be an interesting match. First time we've seen Zach Miller really playing a PSA tournament. For a little while anyway, and uh, Jerome Al had his first PSA win yesterday. He had a victory over Glenn Templeton. And whenever we see Zach Miller on court, we know that there will be a, the odd unorthodox shot. Something like between the, the legs, round the back, you name it. Always entertaining to watch and always able to put in a wide variety of shots. And that wasn't one of them he wanted to do. Miller entered the tournament with a ranking of 219, the third seed. What's going to happen? Uh, a couple of points effectively let loose. <laughs> Just about, and uh, it was almost kissing the line from Al, but uh, then it was Miller who uh, lobbed it out. And good to have the Anthony Lepper Supporters Club coming through on Facebook. Nice to have you, and uh, we'll see if you come back at 7.30 tonight for his quarterfinal. So 3-4 and uh, Zach Miller to uh, serve again. Let's uh, see what he's going to do, whether he's going to power put through. Uh, just gently sweeping it through. Doesn't mind uh, the odd lift or the odd drop, does uh, Zach Miller. We certainly had a, a 
A bit of uh, ground play, you might call it, from Andrik Lim in the previous match and his uh, defeat by Anthony Lepper. There was a number of points where he was throwing himself on the ground and had to get up again quickly. And of course, Lepper winning in uh, straight games earlier on. It was Lewamba Chalisi winning in four games over Benjamin Ratcliffe. And uh, this is the uh, third match on the main court. Be followed by Nicholas Calvert against Tim Chalisi. And then we get into the women's PSA quarterfinals. Abby Palmer against Katie Templeton. And the other matches coming up a little bit later on. We'll have Anne Leakey against Maiden Lee Co. We also will have uh, Rachel McLeod against uh, uh, Shasmitha, Nitty and Dan. We also, as we turn the page, Winona Joe Joyce against Lana Harrison. That'll be the final women's quarterfinal. And that'll be followed by two men's quarterfinals on this court as well. Other matches around the, the venue. Uh, we've got Sean Wigan against Mason Smiles. That shouldn't be too far away. At the moment, Chris Van der Sam is up against Duncan Lee. Try and keep you up to date with those matches when we can. In the meantime, back on this court. Six, five. And Zach Miller's just pushed himself in front. Nothing special so far. Looks pretty relaxed on court. Oh, well, ball just didn't come back. And great to have one of our regulars, uh, Manaya Murphy Fell, coming through and giving his support to Zach Miller. Manaya, we look forward to seeing you hopefully at the NZ Champs in the uh, beginning of July. Don't forget to enter. That'll be the Oliver Sport NZ Champs and it'll be at the Devoy Club. Yeah, if you didn't uh, see it, well, you probably heard it. That was a backhand sweep and a backhand smash from Zach Miller. Underway in game two of this second round singles by Gordon Thompson, Auckland Open. Oh, nice. This guy's a little shot and flicks it across court. There's Al. Zach Miller taking the first 11 6, the third seed here at the tournament. Slaps that one down. And, uh, no lead. Yep, you heard it. Not up, not up. And the 
firstly called by Zach Miller and repeated by the officials. And Orr takes the point on the strike. Miller just couldn't quite get out of the way of that one. the drop shot all lined up and just played it a little bit too tight Better shot there from Zach Miller. Where are we? Nope. So he's actually been a bit loose in this the second game. Started off slow in the first and just eased his way into the front. Okay, that's a better shot. Singapore player playing it straight back at himself and struck against him. going to that one maybe So even Stevens through the midway spell of this second game, Miller taking the first 11-6. It's much better play from Miller, moving his opponent from one corner to the next and then the shorter ball.
this play. Just punches it down the wall there. Ah, flicks it across. The side, and with the game ball. It hasn't been vintage Zach Miller just yet, but it's been good enough to potentially take a two-game lead. Oh, and just as we're about to say, he's going to take a two-game lead. He um, mucks that one straight into the uh, tin, but still has the advantage. And the game ball here in the second. That's the second game ball saved from Lim. I mean, Al. That was Lim in the last game, and he was beaten by Anthony Lepper. That's better play. Zach Miller up by two games to one. Let's see what his opponent can do. Pretty new. Oh, rolls that one into the tin. He's pretty new. Is Jerome Al into the PSA uh, tournament, whereas Miller has been around for a while now. Oh. And uh, there's two errors. Four two lead now for Miller. And it's taking his time. And a player such as Al just finding a little bit interesting coming up against Miller, who can play very whippy shots, change the pace at any second. get through in a physical sense <laughs> but he did quite well pushing him around <laughs> not sure how Zach Miller was going to get out of the way of that it was a reserved yes from the officials a reserved yes let I don't think he'll want to try that again
So Zach Miller just can't quite get away in this the uh, third game. He's had a couple points here and there where he's been ahead. But his opponent's not giving up. Nice coverage from Miller. Can't get to that one though. fight back by the Singaporean some good depth jumping under it Yes, let. Again, a reserved let. He did hit him quite hard. In some games, it would almost be a tackle. But it was almost like retaliation. Well, last time he ran to me, so I can do it back to him. I'm just a little bit more solid, perhaps. So both players now look at each other. And uh, smiles from both players, although I'm not totally sure that I was very happy with that at all. And another lip. And we're getting a few pushes in the back. the match ball now. 10-8 up to Zach Miller. He'll be pleased to get rid of this match. Been made to uh, fight hard at times against a new opponent which is great for uh, all the Kiwis to be up against the Malaysians, Singaporeans and a few Aussies. Well, I couldn't win it on the first attempt.
they're probably getting a little silly with some of their collisions now. Both of them need to be able to get out of the way and both of them need to make good attempts rather than going through the whole body. In theory, it's a non-contact sport and that goes for both of them. shot from Zach Miller. Played it very nicely. Quite deceiving for his opponent. And to 11 all. around again and the Singaporean has his second game ball to take it to four games oh that was just almost a casual shot off his feet Miller doing a lot of running did he pick it up yes he did Both players giving yells of, well, frustration or whatever you want. four now because we have Orr winning that one in a quite a lengthy third game. Well, Zach Miller did have an opportunity to round out the match and the uh, third game. However, let it slip. There's quite a bit of uh, body contact in the third. Both players sort of run right through each other. Let's hope we don't have too much of that in uh, this, the fourth. Gee, that was a flick across the court and almost a grin there. Zach Miller got a handy little lead. Oh, even better lead. 4 1 here in the fourth after taking the first two games.
And you can hear the instructions. You've got to ask for the lip. Otherwise, we're not going to give it to you. It's a handy lead for Zach Miller. So he goes up by six games to one after 2 1 the lead in games. Yeah, nicely played. Well, he could have done this uh, in the third game. Perhaps he just wanted a bit more time on court. But that's a good shot there from his opponent. Holds it nicely. Remembering that we do have one more in second round on this court, and that is uh, Tim Watch, Lucy, Nicholas Calvert. tight there. Could have taken off his opponent's head. See what he can do. Is he going to drop? It didn't quite pick that one up. He, yeah. So here's a great opportunity now for Zach Miller to finish it off. It's three more points. Uh, make that two. needed off that occasion. It's a good shot. Puts himself in the match ball situation here. Let's see if we can finish it off, wrap it up this time. Asking, did he pick it up? It didn't matter because Miller puts it away on the forehand and wins in four games. So congratulations there to Zach Miller. He goes through to the next round.